Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? I'm tight. They try to, they try to, they try to, they try to, they try to crack my man. I'm tight. I keep telling you. I keep telling you about me, man. I keep. Telling I didn't know you. I didn't know you be surviving like that, though. I didn't know your survival record when it comes <laughs> to Warlords is high. You don't listen. I keep telling you. And hold up. I'm going to say this. I only got on to say this. I only got on to say this. Hold up. Yeah. Tell y'all about these new Uggs. I'm telling y'all about these Uggs. That boy get busy in my Uggs. Why you look so good? Why you look, why you look good, though? Like, I, I thought you got jumped and stomped out. You good? <laughs> they said you got stomped. No. They said no. they said it was Never believe the internet rumors. Come on, puppy. Never they believe. Said they, they said they did the hook. They did the healing song. No, no, nah, nigga, cock, nigga, cock back and sock me one good time. Bow, but then that's all you gonna get. I, I keep telling y'all, I eat a punch. Well, now we, now we gotta get it on. Now we gotta go. I and I don't like this talking? internet stuff. Don't believe. Don't believe. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. That's you, it. Was it a power shot? Was homie strong? Was it? Was it, was it like, oh, he, he puts a power behind it? Wet floor saved his life, man. I, wet floor I heard about the wet floor. I got the call about the wet floor. Daddy. Wet floor saved that boy life, man. He wasn't big enough or strong enough. Can't send no nigga like that at me. It's going to end bad. So, it's going to end bad. Don't, Joe, don't, don't you feel like you, you, you passed that stage? Don't look at me. This like, is for like 07. This is for like 07. It felt crazy. It felt like 07. Niggas is on my phone. You know who on my phone. Everybody relax. Everybody chill. No, no need. No need for dramatics. Guys 0 and 2. Next time he'll try to send somebody bigger and stronger. And we live to pop another day. It's Roy Stavis on the check-in. So over the weekend, Joe Button was at a nightclub in Queens called Dreams. You know, he was out chilling, minding his own business, where somebody came up from behind him and, you know, I guess hit him in the head. They got the scrap in. I guess the floor was slippery and they both fell. And I guess Joe got up first, but it's still unclear what exactly happened. Because, of course, Joe's going to downplay whatever the other dude did. And, of course, vice versa. Everybody's going to say that Joe got washed because, you know, it's buzzworthy. People are going to be talking about it. Like, people... Even if Joe ain't got hit once, people are going to go crazy and make it sound like it's bigger than what it is. Now, did Joe know or see this coming? Probably so. You know, he's been talking reckless about a lot of people on this podcast as far as telling them to suck his you-know-what and all that, which I ain't mad at because, uh, you know, what's been going on with him, I'll probably respond similar. And, you know, he did confirm that it was Caesar's people because he said that they was 0-2, you know, the first time he sent his brother to basically go out there and do absolutely nothing but look like a fool. But since his brother recorded the first altercation, I'm pretty sure that he recorded this one. So I expect the footage to be coming out sometime soon. And Joe says he's going to be talking about this tomorrow. So we'll get an official explanation of what went on. And this is kind of crazy because Caesar went on Instagram he photoshopped his face on, you know, was it the power picture? And, you know, he acting like the feds ain't on him, basically. Like, this is the dumbest ish I've ever seen in my life. But one thing y'all gotta keep in mind, though, is Caesar may be a square and all that, but, you know, he got money. So, you know, you can be a dork with money. You know, that don't mean that people won't do stuff for you for the right price, if you know what I mean. And, I mean, the same goes for Joe, but it honestly ain't that serious. I mean, this all came about because... You know, DJ Envy, Little Caesar, or Little Caesar, sees his partner sees, you know, they got in some trouble and Joe spoke on it. And of course, they ain't like what Joe said. So, hey, it is what it is. It just comes with territory. But anyway, if y'all want to listen to the rest of the interview, y'all can go listen on Queen's Flip's channel. Shout out to Queen's Flip. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.